What's going on, you guys? It's Tino. We're back for another video. And guys, I recently made um, a video. I actually don't know if I should upload it or not. But recently, I made a video um, of me installing a virtual machine and just kind of playing around with it. But guys, today, um, I'm going to go ahead and add and just show you guys a little bit more in depth of it. Uh, and then that actually that video may be uploaded. I'm not that sure. It has um has a few bits of um me talking to my mom and stuff like that. So I don't even know if that should be if she even be uploaded. But um yeah, so here it is. Go ahead and uh click on this. So we just um updated to El Capitan. If you guys saw um which actually guys um for my personal use I have a video of me just using uh, most of the captain and stuff like that but guys here it is here's a virtual machine you'll see it's not in full screen um you can see there's kind of like some size on it but yeah guys so we're gonna go ahead and mess around with this thing i just installed macro sierra i'm gonna go ahead and install macro sierra sierra or, or how you pronounce it i'm gonna go show you guys how you guys can actually connect to wi-fi because if we're going to show you guys um that was kind of loud we're gonna open up safari here so go and type in google.com as you guys can see connected to Wi-Fi and stuff like that so I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do that just go and install my cluster here and then here Also, guys, I'm going to show you guys one quick thing. I'm going to up system preferences down there. I'm going to show you guys one quick, um, one thing quickly. If I go ahead, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. I'm going to go into networks here. As you guys can see, uh, it's connected only with be like a yellow, little small yellow color. It is, as you guys can see, Ethernet is currently active and it's connected. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you guys can get the Wi-Fi up and running. Um, just going to suspend. So, so just going to keep at the exact location. Uh, obviously, there's a remote where it's still, obviously, still running. Here it is. Uh, you guys can kind of tell from right there. It's still running. So, it's going to close out of here. So, guys, how do you do this? So, you have to click on your Wi-Fi. This is on Windows 10, obviously. You can go here, you can go and click on network settings. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a separate video on, on installing Mac OS here just because um, I don't know why, I, I just will. So here you are, scroll all the way down. You can go ahead and click on networks and sharing center. Hopefully that will open up your control panel. And then from here, go ahead and go to change adapter settings. And it will give you all of this stuff. If you guys did install the VMware network adapter, um, then you're pretty much good to go. That really won't do much, but um, go ahead and go ahead and install it if you do not have it installed. Um, it's on the VMware Workstation website. But you, if you guys don't have that, you can just go ahead and use your own Wi Fi, right click, and then click on properties. Um, if you guys do not have that VMware Workstation network adapter um, for VNet, for VMNet 1 and VMNet 8, you can just go ahead and uh, right click on your original Wi Fi settings. And then in here, go ahead and click on sharing. And you have all these options. Go ahead and click on this. So I like to unselect this so then you can change this. Um, I actually don't remember ever changing this, but uh, what you can do is you just can type in. Yeah, I don't think you can do it anymore. Um, I think settings. Cancel. Um, I don't know, but um, before I had a drop-down menu, I'm not sure if it just changed through VMware, but before um, I had a little small drop-down menu, and I could select um, VMNet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, including um, what I have currently connected, and so I did that. I clicked on OK. You know, I got my basic stuff. I will go and close out of that, close out of that, close out of that. Open up my VMware workstation, and it was perfectly good to go. So I think, uh, I mean, eh, I don't know. I'm 100% sure that we're good for that, but there you go. So, guys, I'm going to show you guys actually my outro um, that will probably be on this video itself. But 
Uh, there's that. There's my little small mini VMware workstation. Not no little sneak peeks, but uh, VMware workstation video. It's, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. Um, I'm really messing around with it. You know, probably seeing if games can even run. I put it only at two processors so that it doesn't burn out my computer. Because my, my computer itself has two processors. So I didn't want to kill it with the... Uh, sorry, what one processor, four cores. I don't want to kill it with the um, quad core from a dual core. But here is the... Uh, yeah, I, I downloaded it, but here's the outro. There's also the sound, I just turned it off for now. You guys, you guys will see it hopefully in this video anyways, so that'll be cool. And I think that's it. Um, I, I think that's pretty much, yeah, that's it. So it's a pretty nice outro. Um, I obviously installed it with my own. Um, I also found a guy who could um, do all these cool outros and sell them online, so that's what I'm going and did. And also, guys, if you guys want to go ahead and figure out um, what type of like editor I'm using, I'm going to show you guys. Yes, that's right, guys. You guys heard it. I'm using Vegas Pro. Um, it's 14. I'm using uh, Vimer Work. I'm sorry, not Vimer. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 14. Um, because, you know, it, it's nice, and if I ever do, like, a reactive video, that would be perfect. I mean, it won't do anything, but, you know, it'd be actually pretty cool. So, I'm going to try, I'm going to, try to keep my voice down a little bit here right now, but. Hey, all right, sweet. So, this is it. I'm not sure if it'll load up my old one. Yeah, I'll have to make a new one. So let's go and do new. Yeah, whatever. I, I really don't um, pay attention to the details as much, but. Right click. Open. Boom, there we go. Yes. So, just and see. Here's how it will look. What you already know, guys, it's actually not that dark. It's not going to be that much of a black. It'll be more of a blue, um, obviously, and a little bit of black radiant. But, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, there is sound. I'm not stupid. Um, I may actually put in my own music instead, um, just, just because um, I'm probably putting in my own music. Because I feel like it, but that's the way how it's going to be. But guys, that's the first. Obviously, guys, I think I don't have to be a little bit of a tool there, but um, subscribe for more. Like, like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you in this video. Peace out.